Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This is Stuart, Victor Echo 9, Charlie Foxtrot. It's a beautiful minus 17 degrees Celsius here in the Canadian Maritimes this morning, but it's sunny and clear. And the propagation this morning to the south, over the South Pole to Asia was fantastic. We worked Nepal, Bangladesh, and Australia over the South Pole. Anyway, this video is not about that. I do make these videos to help you guys who are interested in working DX and especially portable DX, going out and doing parks on the air or flora and fauna and getting more DX. Anyway, this video carries on with my uh, topic from a few weeks ago when uh, N4TRD mentioned to me about getting his antenna up in the air and having success working some DX on 10 meters and other bands. I just got another message, and you can see it in one of the other comments, from a friend of mine in Germany, another POTA and WWF activator, who uh, went the other way. He uh, managed, he put his antenna, his NFED half wave or his antenna high up in the air, got up as high as he could. Can't remember the exact height. I think he said 35 or 40 feet and worked a whole bunch of DX, including 33 states, I think he said. Just proof, proof again, guys, that if you want to be serious about working long range during your POTA and worldwide flora and fauna activations, you got to get your antennas up in the air. Stuart always brings the receipts. I'll put a copy of the message right here. Boom. I think, I, again, I'm going off memory here, but I, he did get a lot of DX, but I'll put a copy right here again, Bunk. and you guys can see proof is in the pudding. If you want to work consistent, now, if you have your NFED halfway lower to the ground, I'm not going to say you're not going to work DX. You may get lucky and get Europe, especially guys with big antennas on the European side, but if you want to consistently work DX, you got to get that antenna at least a half wavelength above the ground. So for 20 meters, that means you got to get it up at least 10 meters in the air. That's why I like 15 and, and 10 because it's only five meters and seven and a half meters. But you gotta get that antenna at least a half wavelength up in the air. And then it gets a nice low angle takeoff and even some directivity. Now the NFED half wave, the lobes go all over the place and I'm not gonna be getting into the technical parts of that today. Just proof it's in the pudding guys. You wanna consistently work DX, but I'm talking about good DX, Asia, Australia, Middle East, not just the guys in Europe, not just the guys in Canada for you uh, US people. They think Canada's, for some reason, you guys think Canada is DX. Anyway, you want to consistently work DX, get that antenna high up in the air. I'm Stuart Victor Echo 9, Charlie Fox, trying to make these videos to help you guys work more DX from your port portable operations. Worldwide Flora Fauna, POTA, castles on the air, mills on the air. I saw windmills on the air today, too. Anyway, 7 3, everyone.